You might have heard from your friends or from Reddit that UWorld is the golden standard of practice questions for the MCAT. And in this video, we'll discuss why that is and how to utilize it in the most efficient way possible. Arwen here, and I use the UWorld strategies in this video to ultimately score a 517 on the MCAT. So what is UWorld? UWorld's a question bank with almost 2,000 questions from every section on the MCAT complete with super detailed descriptions and beautiful illustrations for every topic. And in my opinion, it's worth every penny. Personally, in prep, I didn't purchase any practice tests outside of the official tests because I found the UWorld questions just so good. When going through UWorld, you want to make sure you use every single one of the nearly 2000 questions to not only learn content, but to improve your understanding of the MCAT question styles. It's important to not get caught up in quantity or how many questions you do per day, but rather focus on the quality or what you're getting out of the questions you do every day. The strategy I ultimately ended up using when focusing on quality was using a spreadsheet and Anki. So basically, I'd start by selecting 30 to 59 questions in any section. In one setting of UWorld, you want to do at least 30 questions. You want to do a large amount and get all the way through it. So you're not really just practicing the material, but also the pacing that you require that is needed to do it. I don't recommend using the inbuilt timer because I felt like it was sometimes extremely rushed and you want to make sure you can get through all the questions. Just make sure you're aware of how much time you're using. While I was working on the questions, I'd write down topics or concepts I found tricky in a notebook to ensure I didn't forget to go over those topics afterwards. I'd wait until I submit the entire set of questions to review instead of going through each question, you know, one by one as I completed them. To review my questions, I went through each and every one regardless of whether I got it right or not. Whenever I saw a topic that I found confusing, I would use the answer description and illustrations to understand the concept and then make an Anki flashcard out of it. I would use the illustrations and add them to my Anki cards to, you know, dual encode the information in my mind. Make sure you check out our video on how to use Anki for question review for more information on how that whole process works. Whenever I encountered a question that I missed, I would log it in my spreadsheet. The reason I used both a spreadsheet and Anki was because the exercise of tracking things in the spreadsheet is very very important for reflection but in the long term Anki was very important to make sure that I remembered the mistakes I made even weeks after I did the question. I hope that you found some helpful tips in this video and I hope that this really helped you on your MCAT journey. Lastly, we know how overwhelming this test can be. We were never really taught the high yield learning tactics that are needed for a test of this nature. To make the MCAT journey a little bit easier for you, we've put together a step-by-step -step MCAT strategy video course where I and other instructors show you how to apply a lot of high yield learning strategies to increase your score to the top score level. This is something we really wish we had when we were starting MCAT prep. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll link to it below along with a lot of our other free resources. I wish you the best of luck with your review and the rest of prep. You've got this.